Hello, brave souls. We are delving into the wonderful world of pulled candy, which is like a vinegar old-fashioned stewed sugar. Both of us, me and my friend Pam here, we are going to try our best to make this thing turn out. Why don't you join us on our adventures? Yeah, fingers <laughs> crossed. <laughs> here we go. Okay, here we go with the recipe. We've got two cups of sugar, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup of water. And we're just gonna combine all of this into a saucepan on high and we want to get it to boiling because we're going to use this miraculous thing called a candy thermometer. And we want to get it to around 260. That's 220, 30, 40, 50, 60. The hard ball stage. Can y'all see that? Right there where it says hard ball. I think you can see it. After I do this and it comes to a boil, we are not gonna stir it, okay? Let's wait for it to come to a boil. Okay, y'all, checking in. We are now at 238, somewhere around there. If we were cooking fudge, we'd be done, but we're not. So we've got a little bit of ways to go, about 22 more degrees. So just watch it. Okay, guys, it is right at 260, and we're gonna take this out. If you'll notice, do you see at the bottom of that, it's kinda like stained glass. It's the, the sugar's kind of done its own thing. So now we're going now we're going to pour, pour it in the middle of a parchment paper lime cookie sheet. And I'm letting it do its thing here. And hot sugar gets on you, it doesn't stop burning. It keeps on cooking your finger. Okay. If I had to do this all over again, I would have put it in another type of pan. So, but see, we don't do this often here. Experiment. Me and Pam experimenting. <laughs> see, watching me, you can say, oh, Michelle, I wouldn't have done that. And then you'll know because of <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> here we go. Pam, we're supposed to touch this stuff. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> It smells so good. Oh my God. And it's supposed to sit up, I believe, about five minutes. So we'll come back and see when we think we can handle this without getting third degree burns. Okay, I can handle this. If you will put a little butter okay, on your hands. Yeah, there's always more. We can use more. <laughs> okay. Okay, y'all, I actually struggled a little bit getting it off the parchment paper, but I thought pulling it into itself, it would stick to itself and I could get it off. But as it cooled, it did come off the parchment paper. But there's just the, just try to get you a handful that you can start working with and start pulling. Because this is going to turn from this amber color to a pretty white color as you pull. pull. Get you a pulling partner too. It's much a lot more fun to actually pull with a friend. And I think we ended up pulling for about 15 minutes. You want to see how quickly it went? <laughs> I'll show you. Watch. See, you missed most of it. Actually, that was about 10 minutes of pulling we skipped. <laughs> I know y'all didn't want to sit, sit there and watch that. But after it turns a pretty white color, um, you pull it out and you start twisting it into ropes. And I actually um, decided to put a little bit of butter, um, just a thin layer on that parchment paper because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. That was just a little added insurance. Turns out we really didn't need it, but um, it just made me feel better. And so just keep on pulling. That's what you do until you get it all laid out. Now, y'all, I'm going to tell you, if you've got any touch of arthritis in your hands, you're going to know it. If you have arthritis. <laughs> Make sure you take you you some arthritis strength Tylenol before okay. you do this stuff. Ooh. After we got it all rolled out, we cut it into small pieces, about an inch long, and started wrapping it in uh, wax paper that I had torn into small pieces. And uh, that wasn't bad, but I tell you what, cutting it with a pair of kitchen shears was better. Let me show you how great that went. 
See y'all? This cuts right through it easily. Now, I held it on both sides and then cut it so the end didn't go flying off into oblivion. And here I am just cutting the wax paper into small pieces, which we used to roll it up with. And we finally bagged it all up and we were done. And she said it was delicious. <laughs> Lord have mercy, Jesus, we made it. And we made vinegar candy. Didn't pull we paint? Pull pull candy. <laughs> old fashioned. Old fashioned pull candy. Stewed sugar. Stewed whatever you want to call this. It's a lot of work. But it's good. It's yeah. Yummy. And we have wrapped, I don't know how many pieces. And look what Pam's taking home. Yay! See, there are rewards to come and helping me, y'all. I'm just saying. So next time I put a call out that I need help. Come, you better come running. Come, little children. Get the goods. You'll get the goodies. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we are going to sign off now. We give this a thumbs up. It was cooked to 262 on the candy thermometer. It was kind of taffy-ish, but I'm going to let you know how it is in the morning because it's hardening up and it's not sticking to each other. So I'm going to give a review after it's sat up all night. And Pam is going home. Yes. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. See ya. Next time. Uh-huh. Okay. It's early in the wee hours of the morning. And I had put this in the refrigerator just to see what it would do. And at the first bite from the refrigerator, it is crunchy. But you've got to remember, this was cooked to the hard ball stage which means it's going to retain a little bit of softness after you put it in your mouth. It's going to chew. Um, we're going to try it again. Tune in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because we're going to do the kind that you cook to a hard crack as well. So it will be crunchy, more like a clear candy. But this is delicious. Um, I highly recommend you trying it or saving this recipe when you have a few people with you because it's more fun with others. Merry Christmas. Enjoy.